Today we talk about uh, fuel management with SC1000 uh, mercury gauges, tachometer and speedometer. We don't discuss this uh, uh, gauge uh, this time because I don't have fuel sender integrated to this Quicksilver 15 liters tank. I fill it up with 12 liters today for test purposes. Uh, the previous video um, wasn't recorded in English and probably you are glad uh, to know about it. You don't need to listen another one, uh, that English video. So uh, that's why, um, let's say that uh, this video a kind of, uh, well, continuation of this project about integration of fuel uh, senders to Quicksilver tank, but at the same time individual separate video about just uh, these gauges and fuel management with them. We will check how precisely they, uh, not they actually, uh, but uh, uh, Smartcraft system calculate fuel. Uh, yeah, so because after the, this fishing day I will compare how much I still have in the tank. I hope I will do this. Uh, so, and we also discuss what uh, you can see on these gauges and is it convenient or not. Let's see what else. Uh, the day is quite bad for fishing, yeah? So, no any waves, no wind, quite warm. And it's quite bad for summer. I don't know why I decided that this is 15 liters, it's actually 12 liters only, yeah, and it is 3 US gallons. So uh, everywhere where, when I told it's 15 liters, it's actually 12. <laughs> and it explains uh, why if you uh, fill 12 liters, it looks like uh, the top maximum. You don't want to add more. The safe level is here. So yeah, 12. Actually guys, I can say straight away uh, that uh, it's uh, not a good idea to use only these gauges as fuel management if you have removable tank as I do have there. Uh, if you have it, you probably know why. Uh, if you have integrated tank, then you can fill it till the full, you know your tank capacity, you reset these gauges and uh, that's it. You know uh, how uh, much fuel you have. Uh, in case of removable tank, you never know how much fuel you have there, because you ended up with uh, your fishing day maybe with 8, 5, 3, 11 liters, you never know. There is also no good indication for the full tank. You fill it up, you, you don't know, is it really full 15 or full 25? It, it's always difficult. So you need to keep some records about how much fuel you used uh, from the first empty tank, let's say. Uh, guys, if you have the tank, uh, removable tank, you understand what I mean. If you don't, just believe me, it is inconvenient. So, yeah, they may be calculate uh, the fuel consumption, okay, but after all, what do you need to know? You need to know uh, probably not the fuel consumption, but how much fuel you still have in your tank. So, it means that you also need to know how much fuel you did have in the beginning and I explained you all the problem related to this uh, well probably for trip uh, calculation planning is good to know how much fuel your um, vessel and your outboard uh, consumes so for example I doing trolling now slow speed trolling uh, 3.6 Meter per hour, and this is 07 LPH liters per hour. This is, by the way, the only screen that Taho has about fuel. So, how much used 3.7 today 
we will also know for how many kilometers. 0 0.7 per hour, uh, about 800 um, RPMs and um, speed you just have seen. So uh, that is the only screen. You can res reset it and everything will start over again. Uh, and now about speedometer, yeah? So here you have, for example, right now it shows I hope you will see, yeah, I think I also see it now, 4.85 uh, kilometers per liter, yeah? So sometimes it's difficult to get it, so it means one liter per these kilometers. Of course you can set miles, uh, nodes, everything you can set there uh, according to your uh, preference. So, and there we can see average, well, it's quite useless for me, I think maybe for other people too. We, uh, it was for 17 kilometers uh, and fuel used 3.7, 3.7 here, 3.7 here, because they get this from the engine, this information. So, and guys, uh, you know uh, this gauge uh, know this information because it knows speed, yeah? How does it know the speed? You should provide it, for example, by GPS or probably puddle sensor. If you have engine like I have uh, Mercury 60, you may have 40 or uh, 50, they don't have any option to connect puddle or, or pito, pito, pito sensors. So the only option to provide GPS from this unit. I have two video about it. I, I probably put the links in the description below. So it reads GPS speed and based on this it can calculate uh, fuel uh, consumption. So uh, do you feel is useful? No, and many people uh, think that a speedometer is quite useless device and they... Uh, okay... And they um, rejected to install. Yeah, I installed this because I was thinking that I can do trolling mode based on speed, but no, I can't. So... Uh, it doesn't bring you extra information, uh, nothing actually, yeah? And especially when it's based on the GPS speed that you have here. I think I covered all displays for this sensors. Um, we consumed 3.7, we fixed this, so the time is that one and... I think we will just uh, take a look at the end of the day, how much we use and um, calculate how much is still there in the tank, just to check, well, you understand, I hope. Let me try to explain you, let me speak from my heart, let me try to explain you a simple way uh, how related this fuel fuel things, I don't know. So, because when I was searching there was no like quite plain simple information. I will try to be simple. So, we provide fuel from there, from the tank by horse to the engine and somewhere there it uh, calculate the flow of this fuel, Smartcraft system, calculate this flow and provide to Smartcraft. Yeah, so let, let's simplify. It's there in the Smartcraft system. So, and then it can be in the junction box. No, that's wrong to say this way, but doesn't matter. So, um, 
we uh, it, it sees this uh, fuel flow and it can provide this information to the gauges smartcraft gauges like tachometer and speedometer yeah uh, nowhere else just to smartcraft stuff some other also uh, gauges or uh, smartcraft things and now it's about how you um, provide this information for example liters per hour gallons per hour or kilometers per liter little per, per kilometers yeah so uh, liters per hour or gallons per hour it's simple because hour is how long it's running this information is here you don't need any additional things to have it so on tachometer you don't need anything else uh, when it's related like liters per kilometers miles uh, nautical miles you need to know speed yeah so it comes to speed how you provide speed to uh, speedometer for example like I do this now from by GPS and again I have to video how to do this or uh, Smartcraft system itself can provide speed, but Smartcraft should know the speed, uh, the speed, and how it can know. Only two options, I think, only two: puddle sensor and um, pito, pito tube. So you should provide this uh, sensor for Smartcraft. They should be Smartcraft supported. So they should be from Mercury, and this engine doesn't support it. So you cannot take just Enmia puddle sensor and provide it by Enmia to Smartcraft. No way. So uh, that's why, basically, with this engine, the only option is um, a GPS. But it doesn't make sense. So you can provide Smartcraft information to Enmia by using um, converter from Smartcraft to Enmia and then you have this uh, fuel consumption information that Smartcraft has anywhere in your Enmia 2000 network and then it's up to other gadgets uh, how you use how they use this information that's it I hope it was simple yeah, and somebody would explain me this before because I spend a lot of time thinking about this puddle sensor. Is it possible to integrate? Do I need it actually? And so on and so on. And guys, again, speedometer, quite useless stuff. Six liters, guys. Half tank. It would be nice to see half here. And we cover 27.4 kilometers. Uh, yeah, that's the trip and time. Yeah, we can see time. We will later do calculations uh, in, in the description. Let's now take a look inside the tank. Yeah, what is there? So guys, you you have seen this half tank even with that sensor. Uh, yeah. So let's see what next. My dear. Half past nine. PM. Yeah. So, uh, really slow mode with power, with consumption with fuel consumption zero six seven point two used. Yeah. So how many kilometers? Uh, yeah, we can. So we can see this five point three kilometers per liter. Thirty three. Kilometers. I don't want to show you the trip uh, 
Yeah. So that's what we have. Uh, I still need uh, to take out of the water all rods. Yeah, cannot decide because no fish. Yeah, still, still have hopes because weather is better now. You can see a small wave. It's much better, but it's too late for salmon. Only small, small fish. Yeah. So, I think we will continue at my garden because it will be too late. So, we will check it later, tomorrow probably. Guys, and again, for you, it will be right now. So we have uh, 4.2, 4.3 liters, something like that left. Uh, did we use uh, uh, about 8, a little bit less? Let's see. So this was the trip, uh, 10 and a half hours of trolling, 3.5 average uh, kilometers per hour average GPS speed. This was the maximum when uh, on the last uh, driving just a couple of minutes so this is the road 37 kilometers uh, we can see similar uh, trip here on the autopilot controller because it just provide uh, this information from the Lawrence unit to here by Enmia 2000 so basically everything the same and time uh, yeah I switch it on it um, too late i started this trip too late so seven kilometer later otherwise we would get the same information so a kind of useless maybe well maybe in your board if this controller uh, on the remote helm then probably okay and here we could have uh, the time is correct because it's the time uh, from the rest of the trip and it's continue running so, but uh, nothing about the speed because uh, we should have a paddle sensor, so the, not GPS source of speed to provide it here, and I don't have. So, in the moment of truth, we spent uh, 8.1 liters. Yeah, so we definitely have more than four. I don't think that I did some mistakes with. Uh, marking of this uh, can bottle plastic can yeah so i think uh, uh, it seems that during the slow trolling slow driving uh, this show a little bit uh, more than uh, it should show maybe it's somehow related with pressure of the fuel i don't know honestly but more or less okay, more or less, yeah. But I explained you previously that the information is a kind of use, useless, yeah. Uh, about the used fuel, about uh, fuel consumption in different mode, maybe quite, maybe useful. Yeah. Um, so and here we don't have instance uh, because uh, the GPS is not running. Lorenz unit is off. I explained you that it requires this information and it was the trip 37 kilometers yep so well maybe i will test more on high speed i don't know let's see guys remember to like subscribe and see you next time